Hey YouTubers, recently I got a Nikon D850. As usual, I'm very particular about taking good care of my equipment, so I picked up this two-pack screen protector from Amazon. It costs $7.99, and this name brand is Devois. So it comes in this thick cardboardish shell, got these wipes with instructions on how to install it, lots of dust removal stickers. You have the main tempered glass screen protector itself. And this is the main reason I got this one was because it also does have the top LCD screen protector as well. So let's go ahead and get this installed. As usual, I'm doing the little bathroom trick, turn on the hot water, let the steam run a little bit so as to help reduce the dust. Then I'll usually clean off both screens with alcohol before applying the screen protectors. And here we go. Given that this is tempered glass, they don't have that other additional protective coating. So it's literally just one peel for the bottom layer that actually will go onto the screen itself. And once you drop it on, as you can see, it kind of just static cleans all the way through, although the left side does not seem to be applying. Okay, it just needed a little bit of help, although I did manage to catch a few bubbles, as you can see there, although it really shouldn't impact the playback overall. Sorry, the white balance is incorrect, but... And the glare isn't too bad. I wouldn't say it's a lot more than without the screen protector on. So on the right hand there, you're gonna see that it doesn't seem to have um, stuck on, but that could be because I'm probably a fraction of a millimeter to the right. So thus, you know, there is a uh, beveled edge around the screen, but that should not impact the screen use at all. Overall, no worries about the responsiveness. You can see it's scrolling through very fast. And likewise with the menu access, no problems. So not too bad. Now we're gonna do the top one. So I finished cleaning it off with alcohol, just gonna use the dust removal sticker. So here's the interesting thing. On here, I guess assume this is more like a plastic coating. This sticker is very tacky, whereas on the main LCD touchscreen itself, this almost seems like it didn't have any adhesive on it at all. So the screen definitely has some kind of anti-stick coating on it as well. I'd envision this one to go on more easily by, the, by virtue that the screen is recessed. And given that this one's not tempered glass, but just a thin sheet, it does have two protective coatings. So the red one is the back that will stick onto the LCD screen itself. Go ahead and pull that off. It's reasonably firm and light. So I could just kind of grab it by the side there. So it looks like it's about a millimeter off to the right. I kind of gave it a left bias, but I'm not gonna freak out over that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press it down, squeeze out all the bills. If you're the OCD type and must have everything aligned perfectly, they did include these guy stickers, so you could kind of stick it on. Well, you don't have to peel off this later, but stick it on, and then you could lift off the screen protector to align it perfectly, but I'm not going to um, fuss over that. Okay, so it looks like they managed to trap a bubble here. I'm gonna squeeze that out, get the rest squeezed out, and I am done, nice and protected. I'm not going to worry about this left corner here where it didn't perfectly seal, only because it's recessed. Now, if it was Sticking out a fraction like this, I might be a little concerned because whatever is not perfectly seated, as you know, if you catch the corner, it can lift off. But given this is recessed, not to worry. So the only question now is how this will hold up in the long run. It's eight bucks. I'm not going to worry about it. If it doesn't hold up well, I'll just get another one. Besides, this was a two pack. I have spears. So I think it was one of the more economical ones. I will try probably different ones later on. But for now, I needed something quick. So that's why, again, I opted to get these. But I will report back to see how it holds up in the long run, especially uh, how it handles outdoors and in the sun. And meanwhile, if you have any questions, pop a comment. Thanks again for watching. As part of FTC disclosure, the screen protector was purchased for my personal use. Thanks again for watching.